Do you guys remember the days when it was Ashley and I doing cooking or crafts or? Okay, so. <laughs> I know. Welcome back to our channel. Do you guys remember the days when it was Ashley and I doing cooking or crafts or? Yeah. Yeah, it takes us back to those days, right? She even has a channel of herself. I know. Maybe we'll link her video. Her her best one so far is yeah. your Orange Julius smoothie. Oh yeah, I want to make right? it again. But we had to shut her channel down because it's still active, but kid channels can't be monetized. A lot of effort <laughs> put into it not to get money back out of it. But this is Ashley. My name is Dana. This is Dana Creates. And today, what are we going to make, Ash? Um, don't know. You don't know? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. But not just any mac and cheese. We're making Panera's mac and cheese. It is one of our favorite mac and cheese, and but it's one of the most expensive mac and cheese. And so we're gonna make it here from home and hope to save some money. <laughs> Actually gonna save us any money. But it's gonna be really good. We're gonna make the Panera mac and cheese in the Instant Pot. Technically, we're only using it on saute function to do the sauce because we have already prepped our pasta in the Instant Pot. Okay, so the first step is to cook your pasta. We used the big giant shell pasta. We have a pound of that and three cups of chicken broth. I actually had to use just a little bit more chicken broth because you want to make sure that liquid covers the top of the pasta. You're going to put all of that into the Instant Pot and set it for four minutes and let it cook. When it's done, you're going to do a quick release and then drain out your pasta just like you normally would. So the ingredients for this sauce are two cups of shredded sharp white cheddar cheese, two cups of Parmesan cheese shredded, two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. Then we have six tablespoons of flour, then it's one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground mustard, and half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna set our Instant Pot on saute. We're gonna take our six tablespoons, yep, there we go. We're gonna take our six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna melt that in the pan really before we do anything else, but we are gonna add our flour to that and kind of make our roux. Okay. So we're gonna let this melt down in here and then we'll come back and add our flour. We've got melted butter and Ashley's gonna add, oh wait, 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 half at a time. We're gonna add half that flour to the butter. Go ahead, Ashley, more. Okay, more. The rest of it now. And there's your roux. Nope, I got it because we need to quickly, you're gonna be my little uh, sous chef, because now that we have our roux, we're gonna go ahead and add our milk. So Ashley, can you grab the two cups of regular milk? There you go. Heavy. Yep, go ahead and add that. All go ahead. Yep, all of it at once. Then you're gonna whisk it up. Okay, next we're gonna add two cups of the heavy cream. Ashley's gonna measure it out for me. Okay, add that. Go ahead, all at once. Okay, next we're gonna add the pepper and the mustard and the salt. Go ahead, Ashley. Yep, put it right in there. And last, we add the cheese. We've got two cups of white sharp cheddar cheese. Can you get that cheese out of there, Ashley? Yeah. And then two cups of Parmesan cheese. That's that. I'm gonna add all that. We'll get all that extra there, too. Oh, that thing. Mm -hmm. Look how cheesy. Okay, so now it's just a matter of waiting for all that cheese to melt and to thicken up just a little bit and then we'll add the pasta. Okay, Ashley, our next step is the final step. We're gonna take all this pasta and put it in. <laughs> Plop. Yeah, we won't use the whisk now, we'll use a spoon. Yeah, or Okay. We've actually unplugged, oh, you can't see me. We've actually unplugged the Instant Pot, even though it's still kind of boiling. The oh. pot's 
hot. I just don't want to burn the sauce. You guys want to see this? Wish you could taste it. Really? You can kind of smell it. Don't really have a smell, huh? Yeah, it's really it cheesy. Really yummy. Look how cheesy that is, you guys. Doesn't that look so, 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 so good? I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to eat that? Good. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching our little cooking video. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now she wants to try it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and come back for more. And maybe you'll see another cooking recipe. This one's for you, Tim, and your wife. I don't know if I remember your wife's name, but it's for you, because I did a cooking video. <laughs> Take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs> I know. Nope. Okay, so. <laughs> Nope. Okay, so far, nope. Nope, I'm gonna do that. Nope. <laughs> I know. Nope. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, you ready? Serious. Okay, let's start that over. Can't say pasta like 10 times in one sentence. So our ingredients for the sauce are, I have to remember what they are. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, you ready? Serious.